Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the great Gibraltar Draft with Hound Dogs. We've got Bruce and Cloud back. We're playing the first game, we're back, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Oh, let's get into it because this is mental. We're in the Champions League quarterfinals. Uh, I don't quite know how this has happened, but we're playing Bruce and Gladback. We beat, obviously, if you haven't seen it, we beat Roma 9-0 on aggregate. Don't really know how that happened. Um, and we've got, if we beat Borussia Dortmund and Glad back, we have Real Madrid or Inter Milan in the semi-finals. So, yeah, we'll get to that if we come to it. But um, we did manage to win our two games in between the Roma, last Roma game and today, which is a 4-1 win against Lions. Uh, Lorenzo Coda got a hat-trick in that one. Very, very nice to see. And then 3-0 against Europa FC, where uh, Bocicovic... Got two, which was, again, very nice to see. He's developing quite nicely already. Um, I think he was a great signing. Not to blow my own trumpet or anything. Well, today we have got the first game. Like I said in the last one against Roma, if we get battered and there's no hope, we'll just skip the second leg. But if there's a chance, we'll absolutely be doing it in the next episode. Um, today we have got the same lineup as we did previously. With a slight couple of changes. Now, Laurentino Latino is in goal. Dagger Ang at right back. Pardo and Pelez are all the same at the back line. But Stamatovic has come in at centre half and Bayarm has dropped to the bench. Um, we've got Smet Bank and Sorensen in centre midfield. Uh, but I am thinking about bringing Sansa Vieiro in, which we are going to do. I've decided just there. Yep, yeah, he's going to be the centre midfield attacker. Uh, Coda on the right after his hat-trick. He's been in fine, fine form. Don't want to take him out. Salafu's been great in the Champions League so far. So he's playing centre mid attack midfield. Uh, Naranjo on the left. And then Einar Loth, who's just got his debut for Norway. Same as Sorensen. Um, was it Sorensen? No, it wasn't Sorensen. It was Smetbank. I mean, yeah. Uh, Smetbank got his debut as well for Norway. So that's very nice to see. They both got made their debut together. How sweet. Anyway, that is the lineup on the bench. McIntosh and Bayaba, Smetbank, Constantini, Murray, Perotet, and Ballard. Um, yeah, let's let's do this. Let's see if we can get anything from this game. Uh, we've already done incredibly well getting to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. It's the furthest we've ever got in the Champions League uh, because we've never got to the knockouts before. So the fact that we got even further than the first round is quite impressive. We've won the league already. Unbeaten season so far. We've got a couple of games. I think it's two games left or three games left. So hopefully that should be easy easy wins and we'll be unbeaten all season. Uh, Bruce Munch Gladbach has also been unbeaten in the last five games though. Um, so that might be a slight challenge. We, The one positive we do have is that we're at home. We do very well at home normally against teams. Whether they are better than us or not, we tend to manage to use the home advantage to our advantage um so hopefully we can do so they've obviously got Chabozo, who is a former hound dog um as eintracht gets put through uh, aben hock even eintracht what the hell am i talking about and he just chipped the keeper and scored so things did just pause because i completely didn't do something um but yeah they've still scored i managed to pause the game so you didn't miss anything i have a bad feeling about this <laughs> <laughs> one minute in and we're 1-0 down. No, Salafu with a corner. Can we get a goal there? No, not quite. Uh, but it does come out to Pelez, so we can recycle things and go again. Yeah, not the ideal start um, to the game, but I think we're, well, we're still in it so far. Salafu looks inside to Naranjo. Can he get a shot away? He certainly does, and it's a good, good strike. I think it actually came off the bar in the end. I thought it was an effort on uh, saved by the keeper, but it wasn't. It was just off the bar as Pelez looks to take a throw in here Naranjo into Salafu who's going to control the game again but it is launched forward uh, and Stamatovic is able to get onto that he keeps the ball nicely well done Pelez I was a little bit worried I'll be honest Sorensen inside to Salafu but his touch lets him down oh and I thought we'd have cut that one out Sorensen's not able to get onto that uh, as it is Bruce Montagladbach coming forward now Romalo looks all the way back I've seen a lot of regens with Mohawks is that just me has anyone else seen that before 
because there's a lot of mohawks going around and I'm not overly happy with that. Um, <laughs> it's a, maybe it is in the future. Maybe in 2033, everyone will be wearing mohawks again. Um, when did, did they ever wear mohawks often? Don't know. Um, a long ball forward, though. Salafu's not able to get to that, and Romalo heads over way. But we do get in control again. Dagger Ang looks inside the Sorensen. He looks to drive forward into some space. Looks for a ball through. Does actually fall to Naranjo, who probably should have put that away. He's I don't know if he's trying to chip him or what's happened there, but that effort on goal wasn't too great. Uh, as Arsenal take the lead against Man City as well, Slobberslay getting a penalty there, um, putting that one away. But Vox plays it across to Papetti and they're, they're just keeping the ball, um, keeping it short and moving it around, which is going to be tough for us to deal with, I'll be honest, because they are coming forward once again. 20 minutes in, Frankel looking to provide another goal, but it's cut out initially, but then lost again. That is something we need to stop doing, is cutting it out and then just giving it back to them. As Sorensen looks for a ball over the top to Luis Augusto, who's completely lost his man, whipped ball in, and Eben Hawks got his second of the game, 26th of the season. Um, that's probably Coda's fault. I'm, I, I'll be honest, I think Coda left his man there. Uh, is that right? Am I right in saying that? Is that Coda? I can't click on him. I'm assuming it is. Oh, no, it's Naranjo. It's on the left-hand side, isn't it? Sorry, Coda. Um, I did. I blamed you for something that wasn't your fault, even though you aren't playing great. Naranjo, you've left your man, and that's caused us to concede and to uh, be 2 0 down at home. Um, not good. Not impressed, boy. Sort yourself out. Half an hour in, though, and it's, it's not too bad. If we look at things as they are, shots. We've got one less shot than them. On target, we've had two more shots on target. And our XG is much better. So, really, we should be at least level or getting a goal. Maybe it's the, just that little bit of quality we haven't got. Um, which is maybe the issue. As Frankel's dinked through. And he slotted it away for 3-0 just before half time. We're punching. We are so we were punching anyway, going through and beating Roman nine 0 I don't know how that happened, um, but <laughs> we, yeah, it's it, yeah, we haven't beaten Montreal Gladbach in the last five games we played them. We've only drawn once, so it's it's not a surprise. Let's say that at this stage. Uh, let's take a look. Is there anything we can do though? Um, I think what we will do is take Coda off. Um, we'll pop. Perotet and Constantini on for Loth as well and just swap them around. Um, hopefully, that might create something else. We might be able to do something else there, get in a striker on. Um, let's get into the game and see if they can do anything. Uh, I'm not expecting anything drastic, but like you say, it's... Oh, I thought that was a penalty then for a moment. Um, it's, yeah, not too bad. I say that and then they... Go and score from a free kick. Frankel with a number four. We're doing what Roma we did to Roma. <laughs> How are we doing this though? We've had oh, that's their fourth shot on target. All four shots have gone in. Oh god! And now the cats come up. Leave me alone. This isn't the time to do this. Stop putting your butt in my face. My god, man! I know you want to be on TV, but this isn't TV. What are you doing? You, you're all dirty because you've been out. Oh, girls, you know what I mean. You're having to deal with kids these days, nightmare. Um, Bruce much guy, but though forward with the corner, whipped in. Naranjo does well to head that clear, but it will come to Frinkle once again, who um has been very good this game. Gomez cutting inside on his left foot. He's going to strike that, and it's in. Sergio Gomez with another one. That's number five. His third of the season. We are not doing very well. Um, I have a feeling we might be doing the next game in this episode and just kind of like skimming through it as quick as possible. As the cat again. Why are you licking my hand? What are you doing? Is that love? I don't know if cats like you if they're licking your hand or if they think you're dirty. Um, and now he's upside down. What is he? What are you? <laughs> If you'd have seen that, you'd have been like, what the fuck is wrong with your cat? And I think that all the time. Gomez whips ball in. And again, it's over the bar. This is appalling. I don't know what to do. What are you meant to do when you're 6-0 down? Lertinho's 
had an absolute mare. We're not six nil down yet. We're five nil down, but that's that's not the point. Um, we, we probably would be six nil down. Uh, we, we should be because I mean they've had one other shot on target. That's number six. We're five nil down. And, oh, it's just we should have had a goal. We haven't even scored. Like there's, I think we've not been FM'd in the sense that we've lost one nil and we should have won and everything. But we've been FM'd in the sense that we shouldn't be getting battered five nil. Like every chance they've had, they've scored from, and we haven't scored a single goal. Like if it was all right, if it was maybe three one or two one or something like that or five four, sure. Okay, I'll accept that. I'll accept losing. I don't mind losing. But it's more frustrating when it's a loss that we should be getting goals in and, and they shouldn't be scoring as many. Um, unfortunately, Perrottet didn't manage to poke that through after he managed to roll the defender. But Letinho's had an absolute mare today, I have to say. He has had an absolute shocker. It, I don't think European football's for him because, I mean, he's... Um, <laughs> He said, but why am I looking to sub anyone? I can't. Um, he said, he's, yeah, after that pass to Arsenal, losing that game, maybe cost us. But, yeah, I think he's also wanted to leave. So I might end up having to accept that and looking for another keeper. I'll find another keeper. Don't tell him this, but he might be going. Um, <laughs> Dagger and cutting that out well. Well done. As it goes back to Letinho. Can he, can he look to find a decent pass? I know you've had a poor game. But try and make something happen. It's a oh, that is a beautiful ball. There you go. Costantini threw on goal. Should have put that one away. That one should have been a goal. But what a ball by Latinio. I mean, he's not been great as a goalkeeper, but as a central midfielder, <laughs> he's been fantastic. His passing has been brilliant. Salafu whipped ball in, headed clear, uh, and San Severo should be able to get to that and maybe recycle it again to look to Salafu down the right hand side. Can he get a ball into the box? Uh, he does, but it is offside. So it's not going to mean anything at the end of the day. End of the game, though, looks like it'll be a 5-0 loss. We will jump straight to the second game and I'll probably play it. Unless, unless we start going 6-0 up and um, the game's changing, I'll just finish that game and maybe show you the highlights or just tell you how dreadful it was. Something like that. We'll see. But I'll, I'll see you in just a sec once we've played the second leg. Unfortunately, it was a 3-1 loss. We did better than we did in the first leg. Um, we played a 4-3-3 this time, just to try and change it up, see any difference. Costantini scored. Um, can we see that goal? I think we should be able to. Uh, so, decent ball across by Dagger Ang. Uh, Perron Tet did very well. Gets the ball across, and Constantini does head it home. So, nice little header there. Otherwise, three three goals from Bruce Motion going back to kind of... Seal things off in the first half. Well, first half, they got two goals in quick succession. It was already over by then. But there you go. We had a lovely run. And what a run it was. Uh, Champions League knockouts we made it to for the first time ever. Um, very impressive. We've got a couple more years with Hound Dogs. And we'll be jumping in back at the end of the season to get a bit of a season review going. Um, we've obviously won the league already. So that's great. We uh, Hopefully we'll go undefeated. Uh, we've only got the one game left against College 75, so that'll be nice. And then we've got Lincoln and Europa FC. Then we'll come back for the season review as well, So, and we'll show you a couple of the bits from the Lincoln and Europa FC game maybe, or whatever that might be. And then we'll be back for the next season, and we've got two seasons to go after that. So two big years. See if we can improve on a Champions League progress, which I, I'll be surprised if we do. Uh, but if we can get to a couple of knockouts, that would be very, very good. Very impressive. But with that, we will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.